Hey guys, sorry I've been a bit MIA lately. I've had so much on my plate and I did film some videos but the footage didn't turn out correctly and I've just had so much on my plate but here we are today. I'm going to show you my monthly favourites. So let's just get started. I know you've been waiting for a video and you don't want to hear me rambling. Okay, let's start with lips. Lips is always a great place to begin. I have quite a few products here to show you. The first is a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the, I don't know what formula it is, but this is the lipstick Nude Kate. Charlotte Tilbury has just started shipping from her website to Australia and I'm so excited. This is one of the first products I've ever tried from Charlotte and I'm really in love. The formula is gorgeous. The packaging is stunning and I really like this color. It's not on the pinky side of nude. It's definitely more on the brownie peachy side of nude and I really like it. I've been wearing it quite a lot lately. The formula is lovely. It lasts really well on me even though it's quite creamy and I'm just really excited to try her brand. Finally, I've heard so much about it. I can't wait to extend my lipstick collection now. Not that it needs any extending, let's be honest. I've been having a bit of a moment for Clarins. I did a huge Clarins post over on my blog, which I can link below for you to check out all of the different products I've been trying from them. But I am most excited about their lip stuff. Oh my goodness, I love them. First up, I am so in love with the Instant Light Lip Balm Perfectors. I know their lip gloss kind of version of these has been really, really popular over the last few years but the BAM version is just getting released in Australia in August, I believe, so quite soon, and I love them so much. A lot of the time I just wear a lip liner and then a lip balm on top, and this is the perfect thing to go over lip liner. It's so hydrating. It feels amazingly comfortable on the lips. I just dropped something, that's why I kind of went, <laughs> They are so hydrating on the lips. They feel so nourishing and there's a little bit of a hint of color in it too and a little bit of shine which is really nice for over the lip liner and they smell amazing and they just feel so comfortable. I don't know what else to say, they're so nice. This is the shade number one rose and I like all of the colors. I have five colors but I think this one is my favorite. It's kind of like just a very everyday kind of pink. I'm so in love with these, you need to check them out in store. And then I have been loving the Instant Light Lip Comfort Oils. This is kind of like the same thing except for a step up. Really hydrating on the lips, really comfortable on the lips, but this is an oil. So it actually wears like a lip gloss on the lips, but except for it doesn't go gloopy and yucky like a lip gloss, it feels really hydrating and just amazing. These smell incredible. One of my neighbors is talking. Don't you know I'm filming? Shush. This is the shade number one honey. It may look very intensely orange in the tube bottle thing, but on the lips it actually only has a very tiny hint of color. I will put some on now actually for you to kind of see. As you can see, it just kind of looks like a lip gloss on the lips, but if you are a really dry lip sufferer, this is gonna be your new handbag best friend. And last up in lips is the new Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipsticks. I think that's what they're called anyway. I love the entire range. I'm so impressed with these lipsticks. The packaging is gorgeous. I love really sleek black packaging and the actual shades are phenom. Oh my God, this is the shade Bad Blood. Bad Blood, I love that song too. <laughs> this is the shade Bad Blood. It's like a deep vampy red, love it. There's also um, the shade Menace here, which is kind of like Mac Candy Yum Yum Vibrant Pink. So amazing. I love the formula too. They're super intensely pigmented. They last really nicely on the lips and they're matte without feeling too chalky, which I think is quite important. I love a matte lip, but there's nothing worse than feeling like your lips are the Sahara Desert dry from matteness, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah, so those are two of my favorite shades, Menace, and the kind of pink that Menace is, is, as I always say, the more rock and roll kind of side of pink. I'm not a bubblegum, candy pink girl whatsoever and this is kind of like up my street when it comes to pink. Love it. I have quite a few face products I've been loving this month so we'll start with Benefits Hoola. I don't want to say too much about it because I've raved about it heaps and heaps of times before but I have just been using this non-stop again. I kind of go through phases because I'm trying other bronzers and stuff but I always go back to this. I don't know what it is. I love to use it on the eyes. I love it to warm up the face. I contour with it the odd time. I'm just in love with this product. If you want a bronzer, Benefits Hoola is always just a winner. I have a couple of blushes here, which is unusual for me. I'm not like a huge, huge blush fan. I can't remember if I've mentioned this blush in a favorites before, but 
what are you going to do? This is Hourglass Incandescent Electra. This is everything I want from a blush. It is a nice, soft, peachy kind of shade with a light sheen to it so it adds a glow to the cheeks. And it's in amazing packaging. It's And I use this pretty much every time I wear blush. I've been gravitating towards Incandescent Electra like for the last, I don't know, two or three months. It's just, whenever I have something special on, I always wear this blush and I don't even consciously do it. It's just what I'm reaching for, so. Love this. If you are looking for an hourglass blush and you're wondering which shade to invest in, this one is my fave. You may have seen in my recent haul video that Tarte sent me a load of their blushes and so far I'm loving them. I'm working on a blog post for you guys to show you all of the different shades and so far I've only tried a couple because it's hard to try new blushes. You have to kind of, you know, you can't just wipe off, try it on, wipe off, try it on like you do with um, lipsticks. But I have loved so far the shades Exposed. Oh, I can't open it. The shade Exposed is the one I used in my Gigi Hadid makeup tutorial. It's a gorgeous kind of brown, bronzy, rose color and it just looks really natural and flattering when you have a tan and stuff. It's beautiful. And the other shade I really like, which I have on today, is the shade Tipsy. It looks quite intense in the pan. It's a super vibrant coral, but on the cheeks it translates much softer. It's just a really nice feminine pop of color on the cheeks. It's hard to describe, but you can kind of see how it looks on me there. Love it. Really liking Tarte so far. Can't wait to try out the rest of the shades. I have quite a few products in today's favorites that are from the upcoming NARS collection. I did a tutorial recently, so I will link that below. But this is the blush in the shade Tribulation. I wouldn't call it a blush at all. I would call it a highlight. But this is so gorgeous on the cheeks. If you have heard of NARS Albatross, it's a really bright, vibrant, gold highlight. If you've heard of it and you don't think it's kind of for you, you think it's a bit intense, or if you've tried it and you didn't like it, I tried it, I didn't like it. If you didn't like that, this might be the one for you. This is still a gold, vibrant highlight, but it's just a much more natural, subtle version of Albatross. I love it. And there's kind of a little bit more peachiness to it as well. I feel like it's a much more flattering shade in general and it's stunning. So. I know the collection isn't available for a little while, but I do like to kind of let you guys know about these things a little bit beforehand so you can actually get it when it's in store. There's, there's no point telling you after it's already been released and sold out. Next up is another product that's due to be released in Australia. I think maybe now, actually. Yeah, maybe it's out now. This is the YSL Sun Kissed Blur Perfector. The packaging, as always, is beautiful. It's YSL. They're the packaging gods. But this product is absolutely gorgeous. I also used this in my Gigi Hadid makeup tutorial, which you can see. I will link it below. I feel like this is YSL's version of the Chanel Soleil de Tan cream bronzery thing. It's definitely not like a contour cream powder or anything. But if you're like me and you don't really like to work with the grey shades, because I'm not a makeup artist, I don't want to be putting like grey on my face, I feel like the more bronzy tan shades are so much easier to sculpt and warm up the face with. The formula blended onto my skin so beautifully the first time I used this. I was kind of like a little bit in shock. It just melted into my foundation and really warmed up my face in the most beautiful, non-orangey way. Definitely have a little swatch in a try and store if you can. It's just beautiful. Next, I have been using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette quite a lot. It's really dirty because I dropped it and this one here cracked, but I've really been enjoying this. The only thing that I really don't like about this is how big it is. To be honest, I kind of only use these shades here in the center and a bit of this top one as well, but I have to carry around the big palette with me if I'm traveling and it's just kind of inconvenient. As you can see, I cracked this one here and it made a mess in my makeup bag. It was really frustrating. It was really frustrating, but other than that, I think this is a great palette. The powders are super, super pigmented. The under eye one, at first I was like, whoa, this is too pigmented. It's making my concealer and stuff look chunky, but I was just using way too much. I was using the amount I would normally have used with like a translucent powder or something, rather than realizing that this has yellow pigment to it and realizing that this doesn't need a heavy hand at all. You just need the smallest bit of product and I've been using them quite a lot and there isn't really a dent in them either so I would recommend this palette if you are looking for a contour palette again there's a lot of shades in this I don't use but I know there are some like makeup artists out there and everything that will get use out of all of them so 
it's up to you really but as for product quality I really like this so now on to the rest of those NARS products I am so in love with the dual intensity eyeshadows for this collection I was telling you about the one that's coming up soon this is the shade pacify I used this in my recent NARS tutorial and this is the shade Telesto which I used in my Kendall Jenner tutorial I will link both of those below for you to check out but these are just so gorgeous you can sweep them over the lids for just a sheer wash of color this one's like a really nice goldy bronze kind of shade I have it on today actually on my eyelids and this one here is a duochrome which kind of goes from green to brown I hope you can see that there in the camera but if you just sweep them on the lids with a bit of mascara it makes for a nice daytime look but if you use them wet and like really pack them on you can get this super beautiful metallic look oh they're just so gorgeous and really easy to work with I'm just really liking these I kind of want to pick up the dual intensity palette now there's like a full palette of the shades because I just really like the formula of these they're so nice and also quickly I wanted to mention the lipstick of that collection and it is the shade VIP red so this is a super deep brown kind of red brown reds are going to be huge for the upcoming months the autumn winter season for Europe but the colors will still be popular here it's just referred to as the autumn winter collection because of Europe but yeah brown reds are going to be huge and if you want to be super on trend and also just pick up an amazing lipstick VIP red is gorgeous another urban decay product I've really been liking is the brow beater micro fine brow pencil and brush in the shade taupe this is brand new from urban decay I'm not sure when it's out here but this is basically the exact same as the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is in the shade taupe that I used to love but I just haven't repurchased in a while I love this I don't really see much difference the formula is quite similar the shade is super super cool and grey toned which is exactly what you want if you don't want to have very warm brows but it also has this spoolie on the end just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one I'm not quite sure of the price point I don't know if it's cheaper than the Anastasia one but I think it's definitely worth picking up it's basically the exact same thing next I have my new favorite mascara it's the only drugstore item I'm mentioning here because I'm actually filming a what's new at the drugstore video as well so I'm trying not to like repeat products but I really wanted to mention this here I really like benefits roller lash but it smudges on me really badly and I feel like this is the non smudgy version of roller lash it's got a very similar brush in the fact that it's quite curved and it's got like little combs on it plastic combs but yeah I, I really love this I just feel like it gives me lots of length lots of lift lots of separation and it looks amazing a lot of you will have actually seen this already on my snapchat if you don't follow me on snapchat I'll put my username up here you really should follow me on there if you want to see like extra behind the scenes things what I get in packages my cat even I show a lot of stuff on there that doesn't make it to Instagram or Twitter or YouTube but yeah when I put this up on snapchat so many of you were screenshotting it so many of you have sent me pictures since telling me that you love it too but the one tip I want to give you is that if you apply this just straight from the wand onto your lashes you're gonna think it's clumpy and horrible because it is clumpy and horrible when you just take it out and put it on what you need to do is wipe off all of that excess product because it does pick up quite a bit on the brush which is the only real fault you need to wipe off all that excess product onto the rim or onto a tissue and then apply it and then you will get the lashes I've been talking about but yeah I do also prefer this version over the waterproof version the waterproof version is still great it still gives you good lashes but it's just not quite as nice and it doesn't give you quite as much working time like it dries before you can put on another coat so yeah this is my just like new amazing drugstore find and last up I have two products that are helping me with glow in my skin I normally have combination oily skin ever since I moved to Australia my skin has gone so oily but this winter oh my goodness like the last month six weeks my skin has been so dry I've had to switch up so many products I'm using moisturizers aren't hydrating enough and my foundations are like too powdery so I've been switching a lot of stuff up and two of the things I've been loving are the 
Josie Maran Argon Illuminizer. You can pop this over your foundation in the highlighted areas, but I like to add a little bead of this to my foundation to give it a nice glow or to apply it onto my cheekbones and stuff underneath my foundation. It's a gorgeous kind of shimmery, non-glittery gold shade and it's beautiful. It really helps with hydration in the skin as well. So if you're looking for a base illuminator or just a liquid illuminator in general, this is fabulous. And to finish off my foundation, I have been using MAC Fix Plus so much. I never really got into the Fix Plus craze before now, but with my drier skin, this has been a godsend. It really fuses together and settles down all of the powders on my skin, if I do use any, and makes it look natural and dewy and really takes away from that super dry look on my skin. And sometimes I will also give my skin a few spritzes of this before I actually begin my makeup just because it helps to kind of, it helps everything to adhere properly and it also just, it makes application easier when your skin isn't quite as thirsty. But obviously I've amped up my skincare routine as well, but aside from that, this has been so good. I know a lot of people think it's just fancy water, <laughs> which it kind of is, but it really, really works for me. So that's it. That's all my beauty favorites for the month. Again, Snapchat has been one of my biggest favorites of anything aside from beauty. So please follow me on there if you wanna see like behind the scenes. I love it when you guys snap me as well. There's nothing that makes my day more than like waking up in the morning and opening loads of gorgeous little Snapchats from you guys. It's like putting a face to the YouTube number. It's so amazing. So if you want to follow me on there, username is up here. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.